Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Angela here, welcome back to another vlog. We're back at Kings Million Yard, you know, this is my home park. We've gone over this already. Check out the fit. Today I'm wearing some bright pink with my my uh, electric blue. I kind of, it's like a deep blue, actually. Uh, this is straight up Adidas down to the socks. You already know how it goes. Uh, Nike underwear, I don't think y'all need to really see that, but my abs, but yeah. Um, then I have my Apple Watch. I've already done five miles for today. Today is August 16th, 2024. It's National Freaking Roller Coaster Day. Last year, I don't think I did anything for National Roller Coaster Day. And I was like, you know what? I'm off. Well, I'm not off. I have to go to work later today. Since I'm going to work nights, I might as well go ahead and just enjoy today and ride a couple coasters, ride Intimidator, freaking favorite Giga. And um, that is the goal for today. I'm going to try to ride Intimidator 305, Project 305, as many times as I can within an hour. And I don't really know how that's going to be possible. We're going to see how many I can actually do. Depending on the operations, is really going to determine how many times I'm going to be able to ride this thing. So we're going to see how ops are. I am going to be riding other stuff, and hopefully we can meet up with some other people. There are a nice amount of other enthusiasts here today. So if they want to be in the vlog, they can be. I don't mind. I don't really care. I'm about to head inside the park. The fragrance that I'm going to be wearing today is Versace Eau Fresh mixed with Montel uh, Intense Roses Musk. That's for my fragrance people out there. Let's get in the park. In the park now. It doesn't look too packed. I forgot to say something in the video. I can't remember. I was going to say something, but it'll come back to me. Uh, oh, that's what it was. I'm going to go eat first because I need to be hydrated and I need something to eat. I haven't ate at all. Like I woke up at like three o'clock today or not three. I woke up at like 12 o'clock today. So I'm going to go to Grain and Grill, get something to eat. Then after that, I will talk to you all probably when I'm at Intimidator. If I meet someone before then, you know, it, it, it's clip to clip. So you'll see it. They just brought out fresh chicken, y'all. That's what I'm probably gonna get. Um, I guess you can do my Yeah. Oh, you can do rice. It's called rice rice. Yeah. I was gonna do the mac and cheese, and then I was like, yeah. All right, y'all. So from now on, this Starbucks, they have the best AC, I think, in this park because it is freezing in here like i came in here last time to eat and i think that's gonna be the moves for now on if i'm if i'm by green and grill i'm just gonna come here to eat when it's hot because it there's too many flies i don't i can't i can't do it y'all like i don't like outside eating like that i kind of wish that king's man would get more indoor seating uh, or more indoor i'm surprised they didn't add indoor like seating too because it was a big enough area to add at least a little bit of it but this is what we got they literally brought out the chicken and mac and cheese fresh. The rice is pretty fresh also, but I'm gonna get to eating. And after that, we're gonna ride these coasters, so yeah. Feel good, I got my uh, food. Now I can kinda marathon this thing. I look at the clock, it's like four. It literally just turned like 4.08, I think. So once I get down there, I kinda time it. Literally on the first ride, we'll time it. We'll see how long these ops are. Like I said, that's really gonna be the determining factor, but to Intimidator, we go. So it is basically 4.30 right on the dot. It only took me three minutes to get down here, so that's pretty good. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. But when I say there's baddies here, that means the women is out here. So the baddies is here today. They they here today. So whatever whatever park I go to, I remember when I went to Ohio, I was like, what? It was crazy, man. It was just so many. It was, felt like I was in New York because there was just so many different types of like races and people there. It was pretty awesome. Um, doesn't look like it's too packed. We're gonna see how these ops are though. All right, so I basically was able to. All right, so pretty much it was walk on for me because I chose row 14. That row is pretty intense. Got a nice little bit of air. It's it's hauling. It's been hauling honestly this whole summer. Honestly, nothing but great rides to be honest. The first official ride was at 4.33, so we're just going to see how many I can do. Operation-wise, it was decent, nothing crazy, but they can do better. They are short staff as always. I mean, they've been short staff the whole year. You really can't do nothing about that. So they also have like a lifeguard working. So yeah, we're going to see how it goes. I've only got three rides. It's about to come around. Hold on. Basically, what ended up happening was I got to re-ride again, 
after that second ride, I basically got to just stay on. You can only ride twice. I hate that rule that you can only ride twice. It didn't used to be like that, but essentially you can't do more than two rides. You have to go back all the way back around. That's why I hate when I have to uh, ride Twisted Timbers. I remember specifically, I was so happy when I got fast lane for Twisted Timbers because it's just, it literally bypassed the like almost entire line, but you do have to wait in the station, unfortunately. Um, we're gonna ride, just keep riding. It's like almost five o'clock already, so we don't have many rides left. We'll probably get like up to seven, so yeah. Also, row 13, man, that was very intense. Like, I remember Mike, every time Mike had told me that like a while ago, a couple, probably a year ago now, but he was like, row 13 is really intense. I remember riding it, he was right. Totally forgot, hadn't ridden it in forever. That row is just insanely intense for some reason. I don't know what it is, but you get all like the laterals from the turns, the airtime. I do love row three. Obviously, I'm about to go ahead and do back row because it's walk going for back. So we're just gonna keep probably doing back seat. And like I said, I think we're probably only gonna get to do seven, just the way it's looking, just the way the ops are. They only have one person doing one side and then the other person doing the other side. So. Four down, we got I, like I said, I think I'm only gonna get like seven. I really feel like I may get eight because it may be walk on, but a whole wave just came through here and um, yeah, I had to get up. So every time I had to get up and walk back around, that takes like two minutes for me. What I want to talk about really quick though was the, uh, I want to talk about the new paint. The new paint, they have little new, they have new paint on two supports or really it's like probably like three supports, but there's red paint and black paint. So my question is, is it gonna be a black track and then red supports, or is it gonna be red supports and black track or vice versa? But we will see what they do. The announcement is supposed to be September. We will see though. We will see what the new name and what they're gonna announce all for the 50th anniversary. I feel like they're gonna even add a couple more things um, later on, so we'll see. It's walk on city, baby. It's just the ops and short staffness that's the issue. <laughs> All right, we're gonna just keep doing back. Row three was solid, but we're gonna keep doing back. I was wondering what they were doing. That rough terror skyline looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. It's so good. I'm on ride number six right now. And I really feel like I'm only gonna get seven rides like I thought. That's kind of crazy that I, I had a feeling it was only gonna be seven. It's lucky number seven, 525 right now. And I'm walking back around. I think this is gonna be the last ride <laughs> for sure. So seven rides in one hour. I don't really know if that's good. I don't think that's great at all because theoretically I need someone to do the math for me, but a minute and 10 second up, and then they're running two trains and you can ride twice. If I was able to ride twice every time, somebody do the math for me because I probably could have got maybe like at least 15 rides. So let me know in the comments section below. Y'all, we're stuck on I-305 right now. Like literally, I'm not even joking. Like it's crazy. Wow. Well, <laughs> I just got stuck on the seventh ride. As set, it was 531. It only took him 10 minutes. That was freaking funny. Man, yeah, it's so basically what ended up happening is it made this weird clunk sound. Like right when we were about to get out the station, it was like clunk. And then that joke was like, it just stopped. So we got, it was literally, we barely got out the station. Um, that's a weird position. I've never gotten stopped right there before. Like I've never gotten stuck at that spot. I've gotten stuck on a brake run, but uh, not, not right there. So that was interesting, really cool. Finally got to say I got stuck on this ride officially. Usually I'm always stuck on a brake run, but y'all kind of got to see a little different angle of that ride. Very, very cool, but seven rides, technically six rides in one hour would have been seven. That's pretty bad, but we're gonna try to head to Flight of Fear now. Flight of Fear line was too long. I'm gonna do Delirium, finally. We're gonna see if I can ride this today. If it gets stuck, I'm gonna be like, you gotta be kidding me. This ride, I swear I wish they just would replace it with another pendulum ride because this these things are so unreliable like the one at cedar point i remember when i went to uh ride max area it went down there 
and I think that was also Mondale attractions, but they just are unreliable. They got to get a better pendulum ride. They, I mean, it's not a bad ride. We're going to see what the new restraints are like. And then, like I said, I'm going to head to Grizzly and probably like Rebel Yell, Race 75. We'll do that. Maybe Twisted Timbers. I don't know yet. Maybe Twisted Timbers. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I don't know, man. It just wasn't like, man, they would play this music right when I walked past here, man. Hold on. Basically, Delirium's new restraint design, it is nice. It's definitely more room. I have more room. I actually, seat 25, 25 is the magic seat on that ride. I really like 25 mainly because it's a corner seat, so I had room. Um, but the overall ride, it does seem like the floor is like comes up faster now. But I don't know, it just, it, out of all the pendulum rides I've ridden, that one was probably the worst one for sure. But I think the next one, I'm gonna ride Grizzly now, and then after that, uh, I might leave. I, I think I might, yeah, I'll probably ride Grizzly maybe three times, and then I'll probably head out. I'll change, get ready for work, and that'll conclude today. Hey, no, nah, that ain't happening today. We're gonna ride towards the Timbers, and then we're gonna get out of this park because it's one train. I'm not doing it. It's a full station, I'm not doing that. Oh my gosh, it's a Friday with why why do they do this man? Golly. This is the one only park I go to where they I feel like they do this. I don't know if it's because of the home park and it feels like they do this at only this park. Every other park I go to with like two or with a wooden train, they have two trains on. It's like why are we doing one train? They drive me insane with that. Okay, so I did twist it twice. It definitely is going slower today. It just feels like it's going slower for sure. Uh it's cooler outside it's getting cooler now but it's not that cool like it that, yeah, I, that was probably the most underwhelming ride i've had honestly all year it just wasn't hit like i wanted it to makes me want to honestly go ride still vintage like that's how much of this it was it just felt really mid this time like it was good it's still fun to ride but definitely just felt a little bit slower than what it normally was doing like it was last week <laughs> And that is pretty much gonna conclude today. Dominator was running fantastic, man. Running very, very well. Uh, it's time for me to go to work and go get this money because uh, I gotta pay for these trips, man. All right, y'all, we doing this in one take because uh, I gotta get up out of here, but I had a great time. This is a great way to spend National Freaking Roller Coaster Day. Um, really awesome, ops are, ops are solid. They were solid, grizzly two trains come on what are we doing it's the weekend it is the weekend once it's friday it's the freaking weekend why why are we why are we doing one train i understand we short staff i mean there were literally lifeguards working the entire there were pretty much lifeguards working at every ride which was i, I figured that was going to happen that usually happens later in the season mainly because everyone's going back to school in august they go back really early now honestly i got actually almost nine miles yeah i'm actually at 8.97 miles 18,569 steps and I've already burned, let's see, I've already burned 700 calories and I've already did exercise for uh, 80 minutes. So yeah, that tells you pretty much how my day is gonna go. I'm gonna probably hit about 12 miles before 12 o'clock today because when I go to work, I'd be walking. Like I said, today was a great day. Dominator had the best stops for sure. Um, it's it's always foursome, man, during that evening. I love getting the evening rides on that. I don't know when this vlog is gonna come out because Sony Vegas is about to drive me insane. And yeah, I think it's time to switch to the OB Premiere. 
I may do Final Cut Pro. Once I get a Mac, I gotta get a Mac, they're expensive. I just got five more terabytes of storage. So yeah, hope y'all did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We got six rides in an hour. Pretty mid, six rides on Intimidator in an hour is honestly not that great, but I tried. Hey, ops wise, you couldn't really do anything about it because the short staff issue, but until next time, peace out.